How are going people? Hope everybody good. Hope everybody alright. So making this news, we have businessman get dash way and bartender injured in Upper St. Andrew gun attack. Also making this news, we have commuters told to brace for fear increase. And also coming up in this news, we have garbage collectors rob at gunpoint. Right before we talk about those things though, you guys know the daily procedure already. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you're new and click the bell to stay updated with all the latest news in Jamaica. Also feel free to leave a like on this video so YouTube can recommend this channel and this video to some more like abiding citizen so them can get to see what take place in a Jamaica society because of women aim over yourself to try and make Jamaica safe again. Also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and share your guys opinion one pertaining to each topic. Let me know what you guys think. Too much of the commercial though. Now we'll get straight into the video. So people are lone man on a bike ride up on full garbage collector. And take away people them things, them phone, money, and possible some other things where them did have on them. Now me already comments them and many people are say, how can somebody really rob a garbage collector? But one of you understand is whenever the man ma carry out these operations, in no matter your occupation, once you have money, the man them go rob you. And if you go look on it that way, where in which I say, the man them not supposed to rob a garbage collector. No one said the garbage collector them have work so hard and them probably not get enough money. So no bad enough you think for rap them. If you look on it away there, basically you say a people like Uno, the man them for rap because basically Uno work more money more than the garbage collector them. And if you go and look on it away there as I say, the people them in the area society where make more money than Uno, probably I say the same thing. We are talking about people like the politician them. The flight attendant them, people in a them high society de. Is the mess of the statement they wanna make, it don't make no sense my friend. The man them not go around and rob nobody at all. That's how me think. But we glad to say nobody never lose them life in this incident still. Yeah, the brother they will take away himself. I'm lucky. Cause the man could have just slap him away. But we glad to say nobody never lose them life as me say. Them take away phone and money but phone can buy back, money can work back once you have life. If you have life, anything possible man, remember that. Businessman gets slapped with and bartender injured in Upper St. Andrew gun attack. A business operator is now pronounced and his female employee got wet up and injured from a gun attack at an Upper St. Andrew base establishment on Thursday afternoon on June 10. The deceased has been identified as 42-year-old Goyan Simpson from Mount James address in St. Andrew. The police reported that Simpson and his employee were at his bar and a shop at Golden Spring in St. Andrew at about 1.30 pm when a man and a woman entered the establishment. The man ordered cigarettes from the bartender before casually greeting Simpson. The man then reportedly pulled a firearm and went up Simpson several times in the head and other section of the upper body. The attacker then turned his firearm on the bartender and wet her up in the leg and arm. The woman is now being treated at the hospital. The bad boy and his female companion then fled the scene and are being sought by the police. Simpson was the owner of a license firearm which was not taken by the bad boy. So this was definitely a hired hit. Yeah man. And good one them friend them. The man them set up this business man. People, this is one of the reasons why if you are a business operator, it best for you stay away from your own business. Meaning say, when I say stay away, I mean say if you operate a bar, if you operate any business, where in which you have people come in come work for you. You don't need to do that 24-7. You only need to come there to check up on certain things. But nobody know to know say the owner of your establishment actually there. I'm establishment 24 7. Right? So basically, you come like say you're a worker. Is it? Now, me, now go judge this businessman and say him the firm establishment 24 7. Me don't know that. But majority of the time when we hear say them get dash way at them own business place, always a case like that. If you are one of them big businessmen, 
You have to fly below the radar. You can't make everybody know that you operate that establishment. You can't make everybody know that you are the man. You have to fly below the radar, my friend. We live in a serious time. We live in a time where people don't want to see nobody uplift themselves. As a reach on a certain height, they want to dash away. Even before that, once them see you are about to make progress, they want to take your three points. So in a time like this, you have to fly below the radar, my friend. Condolence goes out to this man's family. As I said, I don't know if I'm not like that going, but this is definitely a hit. The man have him lies a fire ramp on him and them not take it away. Normally the man them would have moved with that and dig off his serial number. Yeah. And the man no move with it. We never hear the news report say them take nothing from the bar neither. No money, no liquor, nothing at all. This is definitely it. Somebody put this hit on this man head. I don't know if you man nobody have nothing. Or I don't know. But this is definitely a hit. I feel not hard still. Leave it in the comment section. Let me know. Brace for fear increase. Commuters told. Commuters are being told to brace for an increase in taxi fears. The Ministry of Transport on Thursday said it received a formal application from the Road Taxi Association Alliance for an 80% fear hike. In a news release Thursday afternoon, Transport Minister Robert Montague said a fear adjustment is on the horizon. This comes two weeks after the Transport Minister said a fear adjustment could not be considered, considered as many Jamaicans were facing hard times since the big sea pandemic and operators had failed to improve service. Taxi associations have continued their lobby for a new fare tables as the cost of petrol and other operational expenses continue to rise. Alan Blair, president of the National Council of Taxi Association, told the Jamaica News that the Transport Minister has given the assurance that a fear increase will be granted soon. He has made a commitment to us that very soon he will be granting us that increase. However, we had just submitted the application today so he is going to have a consultation with his ministry and the Ministry of Finance to work some details out and get back to us, he revealed. The Road Taxi Association Alliance comprised the Road Taxi Association of Jamaica, the National Council of Taxi Associations and the Confederation of Independent Rural Taxi Association.